good, everybody? It is your boy Cat back with another Dragon Ball Fighters UI Goku video for you guys today. We're gonna be taking a look at a couple more clips, and these clips in particular, guys, are ones that really stand out to me and ones that I, I want to cover with you. Um, two of them have been out and kind of going around for a, a day or two, I believe, but one of them just came out today and has gone around the community a fairly decent amount. But at the same time, I want to go over these, show these um, for those who may not have seen them, then also give my thoughts on these as well, because UI Goku is looking absolutely insane. Now, I want to give a shout out to Cool QAQ for tweeting this out. Um, he tweets out two of the clips that I'm going to show in this video. And then also the other one um, comes from, uh, I forget the exact name you'll see it when we get there but this man cool QAQ guys be sure to show him some love because he's basically tweeted out UI Goku's like full entire move set for the most part like pretty much everything that this man has he has tweeted out and I'm gonna show you guys that and just going through his timeline at the end of this video to show um, how much he's trying to put out for the community so again be sure to show him some love and give him a follow his Twitter will be linked down below now getting into this first clip though this clip you see the man's he's literally just walking through let's look at the full screen now the full screen is the quality isn't gonna be the best but you see he literally just walks through broly's key blast this can be major in, in terms of neutral and changing how neutral technically works against ui goku because for example when you see a z broly for the most part online or anything like that they use a lot of key blast they use this in neutral to keep zoning and keep uh neutral in their favor so the fact that ui goku can walk through that and close the gap and kind of cancel that out is absolutely insane and it doesn't just work against broly i've seen this work in other clips um with frieza's death beam for example like not the not yet yeah, you know like where she he shoots the um like four little mini death beam things it works against that it works against trunks's um blast so it pretty much it seems to work against all type of key blast that characters have within this game and again that can change neutral around when you're playing against ui goku in a major way like you're gonna have to potentially play it in a different style just due to the fact that he can do this like broly's gonna probably have to change up his style against ui goku and, and be cautious of that but again we don't know the potential negative sides of something like this at the same time um i'm also curious as to whether or not is this just his regular walk like is he just walking like you know if you just hold the, the button down or whether you use analog or d-pad or anything like that if you just hold down left without like dashing or anything your character like creeps up so is that what's going on here or is there something different about it again very very curious to see the ins and outs of it but that's the first um clip i want to take a look at the second clip I want to take a look at is this one right here, and I want to look at this one for multiple reasons, guys. This one, not only for what it shows, because what it shows is kind of insane. Let's back it up to the beginning. But as you see right here, check out this man UI Goku. He literally goes through that level one right there with, with that super attack. I don't know the name of that attack in particular, but with that super attack right there, he goes straight through that level one meter, which is insane and brings up a lot of questions. One, can it work? in a similar way against potential level threes I, I highly doubt it but who knows and then two can this work against regular key blast like broly's key blast like we saw in the last clip because if it can work in that sense what it essentially does is once you hit them with this and fully hit them with the full move you can vanish at that point and start up an actual combo so when you see key blast against uh, and you're using ui goku if it does work in that manner, it's essentially a free combo anytime you see anybody trying to use a regular key blast. Now, I'm also curious, since it does go through level ones, you would imagine it goes through like, you know, um, a quarter circle forward Kamehameha from like Rose Goku Black or Super Saiyan Goku or, or other key blasts like that at the same time. So that can kind of really change neutral round as well, because not only do characters like Broly like to use the regular key blast, the ones that have good ones like that, but also there's a lot of characters in the game like a lot of uh for those any some of my homies who still do play rose or, or just seeing the the few that do play rose in tournament now um i believe double l is one of them you when they use that kamehameha in neutral from trying to keep that spacing and zoning and trying to control neutral if you can go through that 
that's just a free combo for you like i said so that this move can be potentially insane as well the simple fact that we did see it go through this level one with genyu um gives the moves a lot of question and a lot of potential in my opinion now the last thing i want to take a look at a lot of people have probably seen this but i want to go over it as well with you guys and, and talk about my questions regarding it but goku's dodge ability this is his dodge ability and this one comes in by the way um by the way comes in from black rex art on twitch i'll have his twitch link down below in the description for you guys um supposedly he has been streaming ui goku gameplay since it has come out for the japanese version so again if you want to check him out be sure to do so his twitch will be down below but as you see right here he not only dodges the, the dash attack but he also dodged the assist from vegeta at the same time the big bang attack assist he was able to use the dodge ability and get around that so this brings up a lot of questions to my mind one how many assists does it truly work against like what if a beam assist is used or beam attack is used and you use that like will you just like phase through the beam completely like how how is that gonna work you know what i mean so that that's one question i have but also in terms of being used like a counter like it seems like you know when you when you use this move of course you get behind your opponent and i'm thinking if your opponent is trying to attack you and use it in the sense of counter you'll get behind them and i doubt they'll be able to quickly uh turn around and get on block before you're able to punish so if it can be used in that way in a counter style but at the same time this counter gives you a full on true combo like not one that is not necessarily a true combo but when you use a move in general in this game and then necessarily like for example a lot of counters uh, like Jiren's or anything like that you can vanish off it and start off a combo off that but with this one right here you can literally counter and go into a regular normal combo it seems potentially and if that is the case it's just a much better version because the damage scaling is not nearly what it would be as if you were use a counter vanish and, and then start your combo up from there so again this man ui goku looks like he can potentially have some absolutely insane stuff but like i said in the beginning of this video we don't know the true ins and outs of this of course until we get our hands on it ourselves we can't truly figure everything out and see the negative side effects potentially to something like this right here or or even this move right here um i, I i'm i'm not seeing many negative effects to this move in particular to be honest if you use it in terms of like a counter how i was talking about earlier but again we don't necessarily know if it can even be used against regular key blast or or like a regular kamehameha or anything like that but i would just assume it can since it goes through genyu's uh level one blast right there now like i said earlier man shout out to the man cool qaq for everything he has been doing um like i said he tweeted this clip out in particular to be today but he's also tweeted out a bunch of other stuff like he showcases a bunch of his moves um you got uh, the 24 h the 24 m right here you you got the 2s like he showcases a bunch of stuff the jumping 2h um he showcases a lot of jumping moves as well as you guys will see but just multiple videos and clips of ui goku he even has like all the assists the c assist the b assist the a assist even though i did do a video on this previously he also has this up on his twitter feed um he has stuff with dragon rush um he has stuff with like changing in level ones like how you can change into goku's level one but you can still do the, the level one plus level one thing as well um shows how it looks changing into the level three um shows heavy 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 medium 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 light 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 and the medium 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 i actually want to talk about guys because this is where his standing low is actually used um if you look at the beginning of this clip right here see he goes into the standing low and then the 2m because the, there's the initial hit of the the triangle auto combo is right there it's like the he does a kick and then he goes low and low again so I'm assuming that standing low can probably be incorporated something similar to how like Gogeta's. Gogeta's not necessarily a standing low because he kind of like he jumps. He's not really standing anymore, but how he jumps and punches um, the ground and that's a low hit. I'm assuming it'll probably be similar input wise for Goku's right here. Um, but that does kind of like, you know, uh, uh, fully confirm, even though, like I said, in that last video, I was very tired and, and it was clearly a standing light. But that just shows it even more because it's using a combo right there. But 
um again man he shows the the full-on light con the 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 light auto combo which honestly man the light auto combo is lit i really love that animation like the way he gets behind him and all that that light animation is lit in my opinion but just shows a bunch of stuff like i said he shows jumping versions of moves um all things like that so if you guys want to check this man out his twitter of course is linked down below in the description be sure be sure be sure to show him some love he definitely definitely deserves it because he's just put out so much stuff regarding ui goku literally pretty much the whole move set and he's covered stuff in the air covered stuff on the ground so huge huge shout out to him not only for the clips that we've covered but also for everything he's done in general but as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts on ui goku but till next time man as always hope you have a good day peace y'all